Right guys, a very important and often overlooked topic. Burning oil issues, blow by gases, engine and cam cover briefers, and endless debates what is the right approach how to deal with these issues. I will try to cover all of this in this video and will show you a practical solution using my MX-5 Miata as an example. Disclaimer, if you're not messing around and trying to increase your stock engine power, I strongly recommend to keep existing briefer PCV system in place. There is really no benefit of modifying the system and the environment will thank you for this. But, there is always this but. If you're in the process of building a high power engine or you're already running a build engine and you experience blown dipsticks or maybe blown oil seals, or maybe even you're burning and smoking oil, this is something you need to consider. With my current setup, I already experienced some of the problems because of the briefers. So you can see the oil is everywhere around the oil cap area. Um, this is a clear sign of inadequate briefer system. And I'm only running 5 psi for the daily drive and maximum of 9 psi um, on track. And even with such a small amount of boost, I am already experiencing the problems. So, with built engines, especially if you're running the large ring caps, you need to make sure that the system, the briefer system, is capable of taking the additional load you're trying to put through the system. It's a must to run the large ring caps if you're boosting or supercharging your engine to prolong its life, especially if you're doing that to a small 1.8 engine and trying to boost it to 20 psl like I do. In simple words, engine blown by gases should escape the crankcase or the cam cover without causing any blockages. Right, what we got here is MX-5 1.8 VVT cam cover with a brief port on the exhaust side and brief port on the intake side. Right, what we got inside I removed all the buffer plates the gases can get in through the maze and get out into the intake money and on the exhaust side the gas is actually getting first into the central side central bit and then you can see there was a tiny hole in there uh, just on getting into this chamber and then it's went out through this hole on the turbo applications this is usually just connected to like a um, brief filter and that's it and on an application I think this is connected to the intake um, pipe and what my general plan is because I will be running very high power engine well I'm saying high power it will be my plan is to run about 18 to 20 psi so as it is, um, we won't be able to utilize this cam cover. Well, we can utilize it, but we will have likely the um, burning oil problems and problems with the seals, likely as well. So, and my plan is well, there is so many debates what, what is the right way and what is, yeah, how it should be done. The way I will do, I'm not gonna run the PCV valve. I'm just gonna drill it out, tap it, same as this one, drill it out, tap it, and we'll run the lines to the outside cash can that will be went to the atmosphere. So essentially there will be no interconnection to the intake money. Right, this is where I expect many people starting to shout and say this is not the correct approach. But guys, listen. When you look at the higher power builds, I'm including a couple of examples in here. Mr. James Dean's 2JZ engine, SR20 dead engine, as well as Mazda MX-5 1.8 engine. You see the most of the people are not connecting the briefers or engine covers to the intake manifolds. They run them to the external catch cans and in my opinion this is a very right approach engine is briefing well and on top of that you're not recirculating the air back you're supplying the fresh air in 
the only one disadvantage with this method I see is environment. It's not environmentally friendly because we are um, venting all the blown by gases to the atmosphere and not recirculating them. But if you're chasing the power and doing everything so that the engine works correctly, it doesn't burn oil for example, as I mentioned hundred times before that, this is what needs to be done. Right guys, on the intake side, this PCV valve, it was relatively easy, well very easy to, to remove it. However, there is the exhaust side, I'm really struggling with this one. You can only see it's just there, like at the very bottom you can see it's kind of just batched, but I can't remove it. I was trying, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to remove it with the pliers, but no luck at all. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drill it out. And as expected, one minute on and this one is out. Now we will need to drill this one out, drill this one out a little bit, tap them and uh, this will be ready. Oh, no, we will still need to enlarge this port in here. So we drilled and tapped it so there is a nice tread in here now. Um, so this one is one half inch BSP tread. So this will go to AN10 fitting. From this side I wanted to do exactly the same but there is not enough meat around this area here. So what likely I will do is I will drill this to 3 8 and uh, I will try to find the AN10 fitting to 3 8 BSP thread. So this will be just about enough meat to drill it and tap it. So guys, just to summarize, the exhaust side is drilled to 3 8 to AN10 and the intake side is one half inch to AN10. Also from inside, as I mentioned, so this port in here was drilled to exactly the same as diameter as um, AN10 inside there. Um, one other important thing was needs to be done. The cover that goes on top of here, I will be drilling small holes. This is just in case any oil that will get in this chamber here can drain out, because otherwise it won't be able to drain. And this is how it's going to look like when the lines will be installed. So both lines will go to the external catch can. Obviously these lines will be shortened as required. But this will be the general setup.